Welcome to the fourth video. I'm Nancy Abba Habtab and it's good to see you all back here for the final video. This is a frequently asked questions video. I realize I can't possibly come up with every single question that you have, but these are some time commitments as a candidate that you'll need to keep in mind. And they will also be listed on the reslife.ucon.edu page as well. If you do come up with other questions after you watch this video or at any point during the process, if you just send me an email, what I will typically do is take those questions and send them out to the whole group of candidates. Because I assume that if one person has a question, others may have the same question. So in chronological time order, if you are invited to an interview, you will be asked or invited to a candidate reception on January 27th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the Student Union Ballroom. That is required for all candidates being invited to interview. I do realize that there are classes going on during that time, so you will be able to come before a class, stop in after a class, what will happen at this reception is it's set up a little bit like a resource fair. There will be tables set up all around the room and supervisors and possibly some of their RA staff will be covering the tables to answer questions for you about each area of campus. What's unique about it? What is the student population? What are they looking for in staff? There will also be representatives from learning communities and from honors to talk to you about those positions. I will also most likely be making some general remarks to candidates about the remainder of the process from that point on. Light refreshments will also be served. The next commitment is if you are offered and accept a position. We have what's known as onboarding sessions. And that's to provide two hours worth of information that you need, um, that you need to know about in terms of what you can expect now that you've been hired. You will have two different choices for attending those sessions, but they are mandatory. One is on Friday, April 3rd from 1 to 3 p.m. And the other option is on Saturday, April 18th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m you'll be given a location to go to to sign up for one of the two sessions. We'll talk a little bit about the RLM, our residential learning model, what we expect as a department from RAs, what you can expect in terms of training in August, and many other issues that and responsibilities for the RA position. So that's RA onboarding, one of two sessions required for all staff who are hired. Obviously, if you are still abroad at that time and you've accepted the offer, we will make other arrangements for you. And then the final requirement during the spring semester is our 2020-2021 staff meet and greet. And that is a chance for you to meet with the current supervisors and returning RAs for the area for which you've been hired. And that will actually take place on Wednesday night, April 28th, from 8 to 9 p.m. Supervisors will reach out to you um, to make sure that you know where to come to their meeting. And you will be given a lot of information about the area, as well as other important things to know before you leave um, after final exams. One thing that's really important that you need to know from now is training in August is required for all RAs, whether they're new or returning or their SRAs. You will be given a date in your offer letter, but typically it's a date approximately two weeks before the halls open for students to move in. It may be a little bit less, it may be a day or two more, the specific date for August training will be in your offer letter and we expect that you plan ahead. So if you know that you're going to be, you want to work a summer job or you know you're taking a vacation um, or that you're participating in a special group activity, 
you make the choice about whether you're going to be the RA, bring an RA and be here for training as required, or whether you're going to accept a different opportunity for next year. So that concludes the very short Frequently Asked Questions video. And again, don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions at all. Thanks very much.